Okay, we do have Mr. Lane back on line two. Of course, the uh, PCMA, PCMHA for Mount Pearl South. Good evening again, sir. Pete, how are you doing tonight? Pretty good. Yourself? Good. Great, great. Pete, um, um, I, I wanted to call in about the uh, uh, electronic uh, recycling. Okay. But uh, before I do, uh, I did hear uh, Mr. Maricocchio on earlier. Yep. And, uh, you know, my, my response to him would just simply be that, uh, you know, as I said to you when I was on the other night, uh, I live here in Newfoundland, Labrador. My friends, my family live here. Um, you know, I have kids here. I hope to have grandkids here. Mm-hmm. And my interest is is in what is uh, in the best interest of the people of Newfoundland and Labrador. And I do so based on information uh, that I have received uh, from experts in the field. And those are our own experts, our own Newfoundlanders and Labradorians uh, at NALCOR. Mm-hmm. And it's also been verified by many other sources, including Navigant, including Manitoba Hydro. So when making decisions about my people and my province, I think I'm going to base it on the, on the expert opinions of people who are in the field mm-hmm. as opposed to some guy from uh, Nova Scotia that obviously has some axe to grind. So but not all experts, I'll just leave it there. Not all experts in the field in this province agree either. You know, I'm, I'm wondering what, what's, what's wrong. Well, or, what other experts in the field are there, Pete? Well, that, there are all kinds of people. Listen, there are all kinds of people who have long careers uh, and uh, education uh, in, in the field who have contrary opinions to uh, the ones absolutely. that... Absolutely, you know, and they're absolutely entitled to those opinions. Yeah, and but I mean, I, so essentially, their opinions, they're, they're, they're wrong for some reason. Their expertise is dismissible. No, uh, no, it's a bit of peace. Uh, again, uh, this project is being managed by Nalcor. These are pe- these are the people that do hydroelectricity in our province. Mm-hmm. These are the people that have the specific expertise. They have all the information on the project and they have taken that information. They've looked at all the al- they've looked at all the alternatives. They've done reports on them and they've had them verified by another hydro company that being Manitoba Hydro. So do these other people verified who- by by Navigant who are again experts in that field and and quite frankly that's who I will take uh, my advice from. And so these, these other people who it, are that's why I will always support us. These people who are anti, they have alternative, ulterior motives that uh, are no, driving I, I them. No, I don't know what. No, I don't. I have no idea what the motivation is, uh, Pete. To be honest with you, but all I'm all I'm saying to you though is that when is that as a Newfoundlander and Labradorian who is someone who has to live here. Mm-hmm. Uh, who has family and friends here, who have children here, hopefully will have grandchildren here, uh, this is a very important moment in our history. It's a very important decision. Mm-hmm. And I base that decision on the expert advice that I'm given from people who are experts in that field. And, and you know, quite frankly, you're, you're, if I have to make a choice between Ed Martin and Bruno Marcocchio from Nova Scotia or wherever he's from, who has no stake in this. He's not from Newfoundland, Labrador. He doesn't live or in Cabot Newfoundland, Martin Labrador. Or Cabot Martin or Ron no Penny or any of these people. Whatsoever. Yeah, or any, the, any of these other people like Cabot Martin or Ron Penny or any of these well, other people. Well, I mean, Cabot Martin is not the head of Nelcor. Cabot Martin is not the guy who's doing the engineering work on the project. Uh, you know, he's just the guy with an opinion. And, and, and granted, he's entitled to that opinion. And I'm not dismissing his. He's not a man without uh, his expertise or uh, his business acumen or anything like that. Not at all. Mm-hmm. But I mean, he's a person with an opinion. And you're not worried that other uh, technology can come along over the next 50 years that would make all of this obsolete well, and uh, a bad deal in the in the long run. Pete, you're not worried about all the eggs being in one basket. Pete, if we had to worry about that, then we would never do anything. Nobody would ever do anything because no, you wouldn't do anything. You wouldn't do anything that, along. I mean, you, we'd be uh, you wouldn't do anything that locked us in for fifty years. Out of fire cooking our dinner because no. we'd be afraid to invent the stove. No, you know? no, it, it, it probably would mean you couldn't do anything that's going to lock us in for fifty years and and rule out any other options. But so what uh, do we do in the meantime? Mean you wouldn't 20, do anything. Well, when twenty seventeen comes along, we're told that uh, we're going to have a serious issue as it re. Uh, as it relates to power, so I don't think we can wait another twenty years or thirty years to see if we can. Oh, no, twenty forty one. Twenty forty one. There's going to be, um, uh, you know, other technology. Some twenty five you know, or so uh, years out seems to be the market. Well, I don't anyway, think we can wait twenty five years. We're being told by twenty seventeen we're going to have a problem. This problem. I didn't suggest we wait. For, we need power. I, I didn't suggest we wait. I'm saying perhaps we look at generating the power and only the power we need over the next yep. number of years, rather doing. than way more than we need. 
uh, you know, at a uh, much greater cost. In any event, no, it's not. Well, actually, actually that's not the case because because we are going to generate more than we need. But generating more than we need is still cheaper than any other option because all the other options were looked at. And it is still, and as I told you uh, before, and as has been said many times, mm. that um, that even if we didn't have a maritime link and we didn't take that 40% that we will hopefully at some point need for Labrador, if we just spill the water over the dam and we only develop the 40% that we need for ourselves, it would still be $2.4 billion cheaper than all the other alternatives. Even with the uh, without the million dollars saved in interest and without the sales of the excess power, et cetera, et cetera. Yes, well, it was two point with a two point four billion dollar differential, and that was with no maritime link. That was with no extra power. We'll see where that is. we'll we'll see where that is by 2017. We'll see if we're still two point four billion dollars ahead at that time. In, well, as I what? say, in any case, sir, we wanted you wanted to talk about the electronic uh, recycling fee, right? Uh, yes, I did. I did want to just talk. Um, I, I had heard uh, Lisa Dempster on earlier talking about it, and uh, this is something that was raised in the House of Assembly. And just let me say, Pete, uh, look. We only got 30 seconds, happy. apparently. Yeah, yeah okay. okay. Look, okay. nobody is happy about paying fees for recycling. Uh, I don't, I don't want to pay an extra $42 on a television set. Hmm. I don't want to pay an extra $2 on a... On a uh, on uh, like a smaller device or, or, or $10 on some other device. I mean, I don't want to pay it, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, mm -hmm. if we want to do the right thing, if we want to recycle, and that's what I believe... Yeah, I don't uh, think anybody's arguing against to, uh, paying... I, I don't think anybody's arguing with recycling and, and whatever it takes financially, but why the first proposal to come along? Pete, we were, we were out. Uh, this is something that's uh, been in the planning stages for a long time. Why the first the, proposal? Why only one proposal entertained? Ready. This is a company. Yeah. This is a, it's not a company, I should say. It's a non I don't want to hear about this company. I want to know why there wasn't a wider, uh, you know, ask for RFPs. A, why only one proposal entertained? This is a company that's doing this project in a number of other, uh, that's doing this in a number of other. Uh, You're not going to answer that provinces. question, are you? I don't. I know. I know about this company. I'm just wondering why we wouldn't go out and see who else was in. You're going to have to ask the minister the specifics around that. I don't okay. have that. I don't have that answer. And that's the truth on that one. I okay. don't have that answer. All right. Well, listen. We we're out of time. I'll have to ask him. Pardon me. Uh, we're out of time. I'll have to ask the minister. Um, uh, we do have to go. We're well out of time. But uh, that doesn't mean we can't talk again on Monday night. Absolutely. Okay. I appreciate it. You have a good night. You too. All the best.